To properly use the mole calculation, students should be proficient in two basic concepts. The first concept is formula writing. The second concept is atom counting. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to manipulate the mole calculation to find moles, mass, and molar mass of a substance. begin with a simple substance, sodium chloride. What if we're given 5 grams of sodium chloride and asked to calculate the moles? Well, the first step clearly is to write the formula for sodium chloride, which is NaCl. This formula contains one sodium ion and one chloride ion. Now go to the periodic table and determine the masses of each element. The rounded mass for sodium is 23 grams. The rounded mass for chloride or chlorine is 35 grams. 23 plus 35 so the molar mass or formula mass for this compound will be 58 grams per mole. In order to calculate the number of moles represented by 5 grams of the compound, simply use the mole calculation. Moles are equal to the given mass, I'll just write mass, divided by the gram formula mass, or molar mass. I'll simply write G F and if we're given 5 grams of the compound and we know that the gram formula mass is 58 grams per mole then the number of moles may be calculated by dividing 5 grams by 58 grams per mole. 5 grams divided by 58 grams per mole is equal to 0 0.086 mole. So our answer is 0 0.086 mole. Notice in this particular case, grams will cancel, which leaves us with units of mole. moles contained in 25 grams of aluminum dichromate. The formula for aluminum dichromate is <clears throat> Al2Cr2O7 in parentheses and 3. In order to properly manipulate the mole calculation, one must first understand how to count atoms in a formula. The easiest way to count the number of atoms in this formula is to simply distribute the three to each element within the parentheses. This will give Al2 Cr6 and O21. Now finding the formula mass is simply a matter of using the periodic table to identify the masses of each element. This will give 2 times 27 for AL, 6 times 52 for CR, and 21 times 16 for oxygen. 2 times 27 is equal to 54 grams. 6 times 52 grams is equal to 312 grams and 21 times 16 grams is equal to 336 grams. To determine the formula mass of the compound, simply add all the masses calculated for the different elements. 
This will give a formula mass for aluminum dichromate to be 702 grams per mole. At this point, determining the moles is a simple matter of using the formula, where moles is equal to the given mass, which in this case was 25 grams, divided by the gram formula mass or molar mass, which is 702 grams per mole. This gives a final answer of 0 0.036 mole. If you live in the New York area and must take the New York State Chemistry Regents exam, you may be asked to report your answer as a final numerical setup. If you're asked to do so, simply write the moles are equal to 25 grams over 702 grams per mole as your answer. If you're asked to report a calculated result, then you write the 0.036 mole. The mole calculation may also be rearranged to find mass. Consider the following. What if you're given two moles of sulfur dioxide, where sulfur dioxide's formula is simply SO2. And you're asked to find the mass represented by two moles. Simply use the mole calculation where two moles are given, the mass is unknown, and the molar mass of sulfur dioxide is 64 grams per mole. To write the final numerical setup for this calculation, we simply solve for x, where x is equal to 2 moles times 64 grams per mole. On the New York State Regents exam, this would represent a final numerical setup. To determine the calculated result, simply multiply 64 times 2. Of course, in the process, canceling the moles. X is equal to 128 grams. So, 2 moles of sulfur dioxide is equal to 128 grams. Mole calculation may also be used to determine the molar mass of a substance. Suppose you knew that five moles of a certain substance or compound had a mass of 300 grams, and you're asked to determine the molar mass of the substance. Well, this can be done by using the mole calculation, where moles are given as five moles. The mass is 300 grams, and the molar mass or gram formula mass is x. To solve for x, we must first bring x out of the denominator. To do so, simply multiply through by x. This will cancel x on the right side, and the x will now reappear on the left side. In order to isolate the x, we divide through by 5 moles. This will cancel the 5 moles on the left side. So now let's rewrite what we've done so far. x is equal to 300 grams divided by 5 moles. In terms of the New York State Regents exam, this would represent a final numerical setup. However, in order to determine the calculated result, we simply write that x is equal to 300 divided by 5. So 300 divided by 5 is equal to 60. So the compound has a mass, molar mass of 60 grams per mole. Okay, this sums up the use of the mole calculation. It's a very easy formula to use. Um, 
and you really should have no problem finding the mole's mass or molar mass of any substance if you use this formula properly. All right, Mr. B here. Hey, catch you in my next video. Take care.